Hey guys, for today's workout I'm using two pieces of equipment. This is a ballast ball, it's just a stability ball with sand in it so it makes it more unstable and less unstable in certain moves and it also adds a little bit of weight so it provides a bit more resistance. If all you have is a stability ball that's fine, I just happen to have this and I haven't used it yet. I got it at my uh, conference when I was in Vegas last year and I just want to have it. What I like most about the ballast ball is that I can put it down and it doesn't roll away. So that's my favorite feature. Okay, now we're also going to use um, a kettlebell. I'm using a 20 pound kettlebell here. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can certainly use a dumbbell. I just felt like using a kettlebell today, so that's me. And um, I'm putting a 15 pound kettlebell behind me as well, just in case my arms get tired. But I'm gonna try with the, ke with the 20 pound kettlebell first, okay? So what we're doing is three 10 minute circuits. We're doing um, kind of a four by four. We're gonna be focusing on cardio, upper body, lower body, and core. So those are your four moves. But for each of the circuits, there's gonna be one of the exercises that we're gonna do on the right and left. So what that is gonna mean is that we're doing five different intervals. We're using a 30-10 time, and um, we're doing three rounds. So that's why it's 10 minutes, because it's basically 15 times 40 seconds is 10 minutes. All right, so welcome to short circuits. We're gonna do a warm up, and let's get sweaty. For the first warm-up exercise, we're going to be doing a sumo squat to stand. That's always my favorite move. And uh, we're going to be starting with the feet wider than the hips. Toes are slightly turned out. You're going to reach up. You're going to pull that belly button into your spine. You're going to hip hinge, fingers to the floor if you can. Sit down in a nice low squat. Arms come up and we're going to reach up. So that was one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, next one we're gonna do is lateral lunges. So we're gonna stand the feet together, that's our starting point. You're gonna step and lunge, nice big wide lunge. See if you can bring your fingers down to the floor again, your hip hinging, nice long spine. Then bring the feet together and same thing on the other side, that's one. And we're gonna be doing eight of these again. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So a little bit more hip hinging and a little bit of activation of the small stabilizing muscles on your ankle. We're gonna stand with the feet together and we're gonna take the arms out to shoulder height. Draw your belly in again, relax the shoulders, pull them down and away from your ears. And I'm gonna reach forward, lifting up. Other side, that's one. We're gonna do eight. Two, so squeeze those glutes, a little glute activation there as well. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. You're going to do a little bit of inch warming now, so you're going to come to one side of your mat, you're gonna hip hinge, fingertips down, walk out, a little bit further than plank, and then little baby steps, walking the feet in, trying to keep your legs straight. That's one. Two. 
two. jumping jacks right here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. All right, guys, I'm feeling warm. I hope you are too. So let's get ready to make some sweat. The first move in the first circuit is squat jacks. It's a cardio move. I'm starting the timer. We have 10 seconds. We're going to start with those feet together. We're just going to come into a nice big jack and bring it in. We're going to do as many as we can in 30 seconds. Here we go. Try to keep your chest up. Dropping your butt between your legs all the way down past your knees if you can. Remember those toes are turned out and the knees are turned out. They're matching the toes. Okay, you have 10 seconds to pick up the kettlebell. I'm just gonna hold it by the handle and we're gonna do shoulder presses. So right here, and this is my 20 pound kettlebell. If you have something lighter, you can definitely Move a bit quicker. This is pretty challenging for me. So we're giving the legs a little bit of a break here to recover. Beautiful. And we're gonna keep that heart rate up here. We're gonna move into the legs. We're gonna be doing kettlebell swings. We'll do the shoulder press when we're finished this. So here we go. Drive it up. You could also pick up a heavier kettlebell here. It's up to you. If I wasn't in front of the camera, that's probably what I would do. So now we're going to 
gonna switch it's the kettlebell to the other hand. This is gonna be your right arm, and we're gonna drive it up. Put your kettlebell down. Now we have core. So we're going to be doing crunches. Lying on top of the, the ball. And you have a couple of options for arms. So this is where I like to be. Obviously, I always go here. You can make it a little easier this way. Or you can make it harder this way. Up to you. I like my fingertips just behind my ears. I'm not coming up all the way, just about two thirds of the way. Beautiful, all right. So those were our four moves. And we're gonna start from the top. So we've got our squat jacks. Oh, it's kind of like a three by four or a three by five if you count each move as one. All right, kettlebell time. Shoulder press, and I can tell you guys, I did this a few days ago and I was pretty sore. I was surprised. Kettlebell swings next. Um, starting at guess what? Remember, you're gonna use that thrust to drive that kettlebell up. Try to keep your arms limp. They're not doing any work, it's all coming from your lower body. Okay, we have those stability ball crunches. A nice extension here so you get that full range of motion in the crunch. A little bit of space between your chin and your chest. favorite ways to work my abs. They really burn out here. Beautiful, we have one last round. So, three rounds. Squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze the glutes. 
get the most out of this one. Shoulder press. getting a little tired and we're gonna put no we're not gonna put this down see my brain doesn't really operate when I start to get tired we have our swings here right here no such thing as a perfect workout right side, shoulder press. Okay, so that's our first 10 minute circuit. Now for beginners, this might be enough for you guys and that will be fine. And if you're crunch for time someday, maybe you just do this as well. But if you're gonna go on, you're gonna recover a little bit, take your time, grab a drink and get ready for circuit number two. All right. Here we are for circuit number two. We're gonna start with the cardio move first. 10 second countdown. And the cardio move is high knees. So you're gonna be staying on the balls of your feet and picking your knees up nice and high. Pushing as hard as you can right here for 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna do our lower body move, which is gonna be passing the kettlebell on those reverse lunges. So, 
Here we go. Try to come down nice and low. Knee is almost touching the ground if you're on a mat and your, your knee can handle that. Bring it all the way down. Okay, we have to do the rows on the other side. So, hip hinging, leaning forward, really bracing. You can support your back with the hand on the thigh and you're rowing up. The handles of the kettlebell are coming into your rib cage. Lowering down with control. I like to breathe out as I pull the kettlebell up, so breathing out. Excellent, guys. Now we have core, so you're gonna put your shins on the ball or the tops of your feet, and we're just gonna do some jack knives right here. knees. Pull that belly in. Everything tight. I can feel my water gurgling around. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Okay, we have our rows, so here we go, working the backs of the arms here, everyone is always so concerned about jiggly arms, this is a really great exercise to work on that area. It's all about muscle. Beautiful. Reverse lunges with a pass. Well, seems to have rolled anyway. Or it's just me putting it down in the wrong place. Okay, rows on the other side. So, kind of 
kind of a bit of a trade-off compared to a regular stability ball. Okay, last round here. Out of the way. We have our high knees. Here we go. And you should be getting tired on this last round. So it's okay. You need to go a little slower. Just don't stop. Okay, a little break for those legs. Rows. How are you guys doing? I'm sure you'll let me know. Remember to exhale as you bring the kettlebell up. Inhale on the way down, or just breathe. Don't worry about it. Okay, reverse lunges. chest up. And rows on the other side. choice. You can just do half burpee, no push-up, but I'm going to throw the push-up in at least for the first round. Here we go. And a little jump or not. Just trying to do as many as you can in 30 seconds with good form as always. That beep. <sighs> okay, I'm picking up my 20 pound kettlebell. I'm gonna roll the ball onto the mat and I'm gonna hold the horns, hold it upside down. I'm doing triceps and I'm gonna have to stabilize by lifting my hips and squeezing my glutes. So that was a quick transition. Hopefully, you guys are with me. We still have time to do probably at least 10 reps here. Lift and squeeze those glutes. This is a nice complex movement. Beautiful, all right. Coming up, 
We're gonna be doing single leg deadlifts. Single arm, single leg. So here we go. You'll notice I'm holding the kettlebell in the opposite hand to the standing leg. I'm hip hinging. So we're working all the muscles all the way from the feet right through into the, the hips. Lots of glute action here. And hamstrings and calves. All right, a little rest. We're just gonna switch to the other side for this one. And I'm hot and sweaty, as I should be. So hopefully you guys are there too. Transition again, put the kettlebell down. We're gonna use the ball, we've got core. Gonna just wrap your legs around the ball. You're gonna lean back, and what we're gonna do is bring the knees up and reach to one side. And we're doing Charlie's Angels hands or gun hands, whatever you wanna do. This is a little bit of a rotation. Head and arms and ball can, can come all the way down to the floor or not. It's up to you. Hovering is going to be a little harder. Okay, so rolling that ball away. Burpees. Thank you. <laughs> All right, kettlebell, ball, take it out. Head is supported, lift the hips, triceps. Elbows are right over the shoulders. No wonder those push-ups felt harder on the burpee. Second round, they're gonna be killed on the third one. Beautiful. Single leg, single arm deadlifts right here. Changing sides. Okay, core. And reach, open, close and reach.
Okay, from the top. Last round. doing mine are on fire so we're doing a lot of work on that jiggly arm syndrome deadlifts back of the legs can you tell how happy I am we are so close. And, ah, 10 seconds to breathe. And the other side. Okay, last one, core. it out a little bit so you might want to check out one of the uh, recommended flexibility videos I'm gonna post it here um, if you guys I should talk here <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this one please like it and share it if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe keep sending me your comments you see this workout was created in response to your requests what I heard from you longer workouts, please include a warm up. And today, I recorded the session a little bit differently. I've got a brand new mic. It's the uh, Rodi Pro Video mic. And um, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna always use it. Probably not, I like to mix things up. And once again, hear what you guys have to say. So, new workouts guys, remember, are always posted on Mondays. And until next time, take care of you, be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.